In this video, we will be demonstrating the materials laboratory with data capture, the MF40 Mark II. This is a small bench mounting hydraulic tensile testing machine and hardness test with electronic digital readouts and digital data capture. Tensile and hardness of a range of materials can be tested by stretching or compressing specimens to determine their properties. This apparatus is ideal for classroom demonstrations, but is also simple enough to allow students in small groups to work together independently on experiments. Watch as students apply force and brace themselves for the jarring snap and clunk as the specimen breaks. Conversely, see students strain as they apply force to test the hardness of the materials. Unlike many other engineering laboratory experiments, this product gives students a physical, visual and audible learning experience. The instrumentation connects via USB to a suitable PC, allowing live data capture with the included tech equipment software. Let's take a look around the materials laboratory. The entire unit is mounted on a load frame that sits on adjustable feet and can be fixed to a bench. This is the hydraulic ram with hydraulic piping, an isolator valve, a non-return valve and a pressure direction valve. The pump is connected to this robust handle here which is moved up and down to raise or lower this platen for stretching these long specimens that we have here or compressing these disc-like specimens. Specimens are supplied with the equipment and are also available to purchase as a consumable item. This upper area is for tensile testing. Students can test specimens to the point of destruction to establish the ultimate tensile stress, but prior to the breaking point, they can also establish the modulus of elasticity, yield stress and elongation percentage. The specimen is fitted by dropping it down through the hole here and fixed in place with a nut at the top and bottom. Up at the top, there is a recoil plate here. This prevents the specimen from jumping out of position when it snaps in the experiment. This rubber mat protects the bottom nut when the specimen falls downwards upon snapping. A strain gauge fitted to one leg of the frame measures the force being applied whilst a detachable extensometer measures the change in length of the specimen. Both sensors connect to the instrumentation unit that displays the measurement values. This area of the apparatus is for carrying out hardness testing. Using the Brinell hardness testing technique, using a hard indentable, a force is applied to the specimen below. By knowing the load applied and measuring the indentation on the material, you can calculate the Brinell hardness number. Typically, students will work in small groups with one working the hydraulic arm while others note down the readings or use the software. The relatively simplistic nature of this experiment combined with the data acquisition system means that this is well suited for teaching the strength and properties of materials to all teaching levels up to and including the first year of engineering university courses. For more information on the materials laboratory and other experiments in the materials testing and properties range from tech equipment, including the universal testing machine, benchtop tensile testing machine and range of hardness testing equipment, click on the link in the description box below. Thank you for watching.